Welcome to the demonstration of NetSuite Multibook. Starting on the dashboard, I'm logged in under the CFO role and can see a snapshot of the KPIs that are important to this role. As a CFO, I use NetSuite Multibook to record and view financial statements in two different accounting standards, US GAAP and IFRS. I will click on reports, then financials to access the income statement. The income statement in the primary book is the global chart of accounts in euros. If I change the accounting book to statutory, it becomes an entirely different accounting structure. From here, I can drill into the licensed revenue account and open up invoice 14. We can then take a look at the GL impact. Notice that the transaction posted in one set of accounts is posting to the class seven set of GL accounts. Whereas now if I switch over to the IFRS accounting book, it is posting to a completely different set of accounts. This way we can support simultaneous reporting for US GAAP and IFRS. To record a single transaction posted in two different currencies, I'll go back to my income statement and pull up the Mexican subsidiary. The base currency in this book is the USD. So every transaction will be translated in dollars in the primary book at the exchange rate even though the local transactions are in pesos. Now, if I change the book over to the local currency gap, you will see the exact same income statement for Mexico in the local pesos. The third example to look at would be to see how multi-book can be used to post GL impacts with two different posting schedules, especially with relation to revenue recognition. For that, I would resort back to the primary book for India. We are in the primary book for India in the, in the, in the Indian rupee, and I will click on the licensed software account to access the appropriate invoice. Once in here, I will click on invoice number 57 and open up the invoice record. Here we can see that we have a lane invoice with a perpetual license, a maintenance and implementation service. Maintenance is being recognized, although it's being given away for free at 18%. I can change the schedule by clicking on the manage revenue recognition. And now you can notice that if I select the primary accounting book, it's recognizing the maintenance in the even periods prorate basis. But if I switch over to the statutory accounting book, I can select even periods prorate or even a one-time recognition, which is separate from the existing primary book recognition setup. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your account manager. Thank you.